हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड कॉमन सोर्स कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इन मॉस्फेट एम्पलीफायर सर्किट फ्रॉम आवर प्रीवियस डिस्कशन वी अंडरस्टूड दैट इन कॉमन सोर्स कॉन्फ़िगरेशन सोर्स विल बी कॉमन बिटवीन इनपुट एंड आउटपुट एंड गेट टर्मिनल विल बी एक्टिंग एज इनपुट साइड एंड ड्रेन टर्मिनल विल बी एक्टिंग एज आउटपुट साइड सो लेट अस मेक द कनेक्शन सो सोर्स टर्मिनल इज कनेक्टेड टू ग्राउंड एट द गेट टर्मिनल वी नीड टू कनेक्ट द इनपुट सो लेट अस टेक द रेजिस्टर एंड लेट अस कनेक्ट द इनपुट एंड एट द ड्रेन टर्मिनल लेट अस कनेक्ट द रेजिस्टर आर डी वेर वील बी मेजरिंग द आउटपुट वोल्टेज v0 so here we'll take v0 at the gate terminal we'll measure the input so here resistor is r signal input let us take it as v signal so this is the common source configuration so we know for each and every configuration first step is to find the small signal model let us draw the small signal model so here we know small signal model for mosfet so this is the small signal model for mosfet which is shown in this dotted line so which means we need to connect other components of the amplifier circuit to this small signal model so at the gate terminal we are having the resistor as well as the input voltage so we need to connect a resistor which is r sig and the input voltage vi that in turn is connected to source terminal so here we'll assume the gate current ig is equal to 0 at the output side to the drain terminal we have connected a resistor that is in turn connected to ground so let us take a resistor let us connect that to drain terminal that is connected to ground so here across this resistor we can measure the output voltage so this is the small signal model for common source configuration in the second step we need to find the input resistance and output resistance here the input resistance r in will be equal to r signal so this will be equal to infinity we know resistance can be given as voltage divided by current since we have considered the gate current as zero so it will be equal to v not divided by zero so resistance will be equal to infinity so that's why you need to remember any configuration with gate as input we can take the input resistance as infinity so any configuration with gate as input we can take the input resistance as infinity because the current is considered as zero across the gate now let us find the output resistance so at the output side we are having two resistors that are connected in parallel that's why we can take the output resistance r out will be equal to r not parallel with rd here r not value is very much greater compared to r d value that's why r output output resistance will be equal to r d since we are considering r not parallel with r d we can write it as r not r d divided by r not plus r d since r not is very much greater than r d which means this term we can consider this as r not because rd is very small compared to r not so r not and this term we can cancel out we will be left out with rd that's why output resistance we can write it as rd in the third step we need to find voltage gain av so voltage gain can be given as output voltage divided by input voltage at a drain terminal we will be having the current id this current is flowing through this dependent current source 
from negative to positive that's why we can take this current as negative so output voltage can be given as current into resistance which is minus id into rd parallel with r naught divided by so the voltage across the input side is nothing but vgs so we can write it as vgs since id divided by vgs we can write it as gm so we can write the gain av is equal to minus gm into rd parallel with r naught so this is the expression for gain we can find one more term which is overall gain that can be given as gv is equal to v naught divided by v signal so in this case v signal is nothing but v in here v signal is nothing but v in that's why we can write this expression as v naught divided by v in so the expression for overall gain will also be equal to minus gm into rd parallel with r naught now let us understand common source configuration with resistance rs so this is the circuit for common source configuration with a resistance rs connected across the source terminal this circuit is similar to common source configuration here we are connecting a resistor across a source terminal this is the only difference so always remember while writing the small signal model whenever you are connecting a resistor across the source terminal you need to consider the hybrid t model to represent the circuit in small signal equivalent model so if you don't connect any resistor across source terminal you need to consider the hybrid pi model so whenever in a circuit you are connecting a resistor across the source terminal so you need to take the hybrid t model as small signal equivalent model for the mosfet amplifier configuration so since we are having a resistance across the source terminal we will take the hybrid t model as small signal equivalent model so first step we need to write the small signal model so this is the small signal model for the amplifier circuit that is shown in this dotted line so we need to connect the remaining component for this small signal model so at the gate terminal we need to connect a resistor which is equal to r signal so we need to connect an input which is vi and at the source terminal we are having a resistor which is rs and we need to connect it to ground from the drain terminal we need to take a resistor that is connected to ground so let us call this as rd so here we will be measuring the output voltage v not in the second step we need to find input resistance and output resistance again so from this circuit the current ig is assumed to be zero that's why the input resistance which is equal to r signal will be equal to infinity so the input resistance will be equal to infinity since the gate current is equal to zero the output resistance r not will be equal to rd since we are having only one resistor across the output side that's why output resistance will be equal to rd next we need to find the voltage gain so we can write av is equal to v not divided by vi so v not is nothing but minus id into rd divided by here we need to find the input voltage so let us consider the resistors across the source terminal here we will be having 1 by gm and we are having rs so here we are having the input voltage and the voltage vgs if we find the equivalent voltage across the input side so we are finding the voltage between these two points so 
we can write VGS is equal to 1 by GM divided by 1 by GM plus RS into VI. So we have used the voltage divider formula. So which states that the resistance in that branch divided by some of the resistances multiplied with source voltage. So VGS will be equal to 1 divided by 1 plus GM into RS into VI. So from this we can write input voltage is equal to VGS into 1 plus GM into RS. So we can write input voltage as VGS into 1 plus GM into RS. Again we can write ID divided by VGS is equal to GM. Therefore the voltage gain AV is equal to minus GM into RD divided by 1 plus GM into RS. So this is the expression for voltage gain. Next we will see the common drain configuration. So in common drain configuration the drain will be common between the input and output. So we need to connect the drain terminal to the ground and the gate terminal will be the input side and the source terminal will be the output side. At gate terminal we will connect a resistor which is equal to R signal. So we will take the input voltage VI which is equal to V signal. So across the source terminal we will connect the resistor RS where we will be measuring the output voltage and the drain terminal is connected to ground. So this is the common drain configuration for MOSFET amplifier circuit. So here the drain is common between input and output. So as I told you if there is a resistor that is connected across the source terminal. So we need to take hybrid T model as the small signal equivalent model. So if you don't connect any resistor across the source terminal we need to take hybrid pi model. So this is the hybrid T model for the MOSFET that is shown in the dotted line. So we need to connect the remaining components. So across gate terminal we need to connect a resistor which is equal to R signal and the input voltage VI which is equal to V signal. Across the source terminal we need to connect a resistor that is equal to RS and the drain terminal should be connected to ground. So across RS we can measure the output voltage. So this is the small signal equivalent model for common drain configuration. In the second step we need to find the input resistance and output resistance. So here since gate is considered as input, input resistance will be equal to R signal that is equal to infinity since the gate current is equal to zero. Now to find the output resistance we will consider these two resistances and we will make input voltage as zero. So we can consider these two resistors which is 1 by GM and RS. Here the input is considered as 0. So we can write output resistance is equal to 1 by GM parallel with RL. Since RL will be very much greater compared to 1 by GM that's why R0 will be approximately equal to 1 by GM. So output resistance is equal to 1 by GM. Next we will find the voltage gain. So voltage gain is V0 divided by VI. To find V0 let us again consider these two resistances. So we need to take the resistance 1 by GM and RS. So here across RS we will be finding the output voltage. So here we will be having the input voltage 
Now to measure the voltage between these two points, we can use voltage divider formula. So we can write V0 is equal to resistance in that branch as RS divided by sum of the resistances RS plus 1 by GM into the source voltage is VI. Therefore, we can write AV is equal to V0 is RS divided by RS plus 1 by GM into VI all divided by VI. So, we can cancel out these two input voltages. Therefore, we will get voltage gain is equal to RS divided by RS plus 1 by GM. So, this is the expression for voltage gain. So, we can write the expression for overall gain. GV is equal to V0 divided by V signal. Since V signal is equal to V in, we can write V0 divided by VI. Therefore, we will get the expression for overall gain as similar to the voltage gain as RS divided by RS plus 1 by GM. So, this is the expression for overall gain. This is about MOSFET amplifier configurations. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.